in a world gone mad. Mushroom madness, or combat, yeah. That's what I meant to say. Not sure I said mushroom combat, or, oh, I remember why I said mushroom madness, because I'm a madness character. It's, a uh, sky goombas and little turtle face guys. I don't, if these are references, I do not get them. I do get the sweet music, though. Yes, hello, Parker. My cat says hello. He sounds like a mouse, but he's a cat. Allegedly. So, pretty much the same thing as every starter level. Though, we've got the flying... Well... Yeah, we've got flying things on the first level. I'm not sure if we've had those yet. But... Now, it's understandable to go back to a kinda easier level, but... These ones always revert to a level that's a bit too slow. You know, you have a calm level after a boss, but not, you know, reverting back to the very beginning of the difficulty curve is a bit too much. Especially if we're gonna have, like, what do we got here, like, six frickin' worlds? And I've got two more left, which, yeah. Dang, 49 times multiplier. Sky, level 2. This doesn't look very skyful. This looks very much like land. It actually looks very much like the first area with a slight palette swap, I must admit. And that guy is way too freaking happy. Oh, it's like a happy version of the sun from um, Mario 2. Oh, hey, it's... Um, what are those? Little eyeless things remind me of something that the Gish guy has made. He's made tons of other little Flash games, and those remind me of one of his little horror creature freak things. He's made lots of freaky creature things, and I loved him for it. I wonder what ever happened to his, web his site with all that stuff. I should find all of that and play some more of his games. Gish was like the least of the creepy and weirdness that he had to offer, but it was a freaking awesome game, but I'd love to show off some of his other stuff, the, especially since the Flash stuff is free, so I'd probably encourage more people to play it than Gish. Ow. I don't know if those guys are really supposed to be the sons from Mario, because they, they really are way too happy and they're not acting like the sun. They're, you know, shooting thorny things. Okay, thank goodness I survived that. Okie dokie. Hmm. This area seems way calmer. Hey, it's uh, Lakitu's and, uh, oh god, what are their names? Not Buzzy Beetles, but Spinies. They're Spinies. Ow, stop being lasers. Oh my gosh, the Lucky Twos drop spinies. That is the best thing ever. Those Lucky Twos look really screwed up, but it's sort of fitting. Though this is, this is just very calm and oddly so. But oh well. It's okay to mix it up in the tone and the music a bit too. Just seems a bit odd for. A level that should be this relatively this intense to be, you know, calm sky land. Not that it's very intense yet. No, though I keep messing up, but bounce. Ah I should have bounced on that lacket to his freaking face. Oh well. Twenty seconds. We can do this. Oh, they shoot out spikes when they die? That is neat. Kind of. It's also kind of annoying. But still. I'll just have to not touch those anymore. Pain. Stop murdering me. Excellent, I win. Explore. Look complete. Look four. Alright, two more to go. Oh, whoa. Acid trip mushrooms. Double the drugs. Same price. Oh, hey, it's alien hominid. See, this is what I'm talking about with getting trapped there. I don't think I could have escaped without getting hit there. 
The alien hominids are awesome. I'm not sure what the gumdrop, acid drop, little thingies are supposed to be. They don't, they don't fit enough with the game's aesthetic to be an original creation, I assume. But I don't know. Maybe the creator was just tripping on some acid. That wouldn't really surprise me either, so... Maybe that simply is the case. Sometimes the simplest solution is what happens. Yes, it is. Sometimes the not us getting murdered is the best solution to the situation at hand. So let's continue with the not being murdered. I do have to say the difficulty seems to have at least gotten to the point where you can die, whereas in with the first couple areas it was like, well, the first like three areas. It's like pathetically easy. Boink. Though, you know, that has gotten fairly monotonous. Level 5. I would be okay with shorter, more intense levels if, you know, game over didn't send me like way back. Oh my god, it's Doc. What is he? Dr. Fetus or something? The super meat boy, bad guy. I know that he's an evil fetus with a monocle and a top hat. That's, that's about all I know. I need, like, saw blades. Like, to the point of being a disturbing, creepy fetish. He's also pathetically easy in this game, which is not right. That just... Him being easy just does not seem right. You know, being from Super Meat Boy. Easy and Super Meat Boy go together like protons and anti-protons, I don't know. I couldn't think of anything that doesn't mix that well aside from, you know, matter and antimatter, which is the boring one. That's all I can think of. No, I was so close. Okay, good. We start at level 5, not at level 1. And the air conditioner comes on, which is just grand. Just grand. Uh, its invincibility frames are so long. And I suppose I really could just do this and slightly dodge. And I mean slightly. His... Oh, crap. His little saw blades. Then I'm pretty much okay. Though the, the hit detection on the saw blades seems so wonky. And on him, because I, I can kind of land on nothing, but I still bounce off of him. Oh well. We're winning, yeah. Yay! Also, the sound we make when we land on is kind of gross. But, what about this game isn't kind of gross? But it manages to be just kind of gross, not like hardcore gross like that intro thing with the mushroom soup, I'll call it. That was... that was special. Let's check out our bonus. We got, uh... What do we got? Red Baron? Well, I honestly have no idea what that is a reference to. Let's be that character anyway. Yes, I said pick it. Yes. Okay. Let's see what trophies we got. Yeah, don't lose lives. Kill three at a time. It's an easy one. And we got the generico complete whatever zone thingies. Well, Tech garden, the gears and trees and cobblestone. I don't know. Got some sort of sidewalk thing. All right, I forgot to check the archive for what kind of things these are. Well, the last enemies were the little knight guys are definitely a reference, I think, but I don't know to what. Nor do I know what these hippo-looking thingy boppers are. 
I guess hippos don't really have teeth like that. They look more like whales now that I think about it. With the baleen stuff. And wait, is that baleen? The weird teeth whisker things that whales have? I don't know what whales have. I'm not a whale biologist person. Do I look like some sort of whale biologist to you? I'm not. I wouldn't study a whale if it gave me a billion dollars or something. Let's turn the music up a little bit. Especially since that stupid air conditioner keeps coming on. I'd have expected really awesome music in this. It's okay, but I think some of the earlier music was sweet. It was, well, more sweet than this. It's not as intense as I would have expected for, you know, last map. Tech, sweetness, evil, space, whatever the hell we are doing here. I can only assume that the, like, techno mushrooms have... See, there, there's the techno mushrooms, right on cue. The techno mushrooms have come to murder our souls and enslave the human race as, uh, you know, mushroom food, whatever mushrooms used for food. That's what we're gonna be. I'm really sure they use decaying matter, so... I suppose that could, we could be used for that. And this world is so advanced that I no longer know what video games he's referencing. So, that's how you know it's the final area. I, I have no idea what's going on. It's pretty much the definition of any final area in a well-made video game. Like, ne uh, not Ness, Earthbound. That, that was an ending. Now I want to see a Gigas mushroom. Or how the hell you pronounce that guy's name. I guess he's not really a guy, but whatever. Gay, I guess. I can never spell it. It's... I always just pronounced it Gigas, but it's not really spelt like that. Anyway, I guess I'm not really talking about this game anymore. I don't have that much more to say. You... You bounce on mushrooms. I think we pretty much covered that in the first... couple of videos. And now we're just kind of into mushrooms enslaving the human race to use as food for... Hey, it's mushroom clock? Orange mushroom clock? Shouldn't it at least be strawberry clock? Oh my god, it's cut man. That's hilarious. I like the cut of your jib. It shames me that I can't think of any better puns considering cut man. If you ever saw the Mega Man cartoon, which I didn't, I saw YouTube videos of it. Cutman is freaking hilarious. Partially because he's so freaking ridiculous, and partly because of puns. I wonder if there'll be a Gutsman's ass enemy. Da da! Also, the orange clocks shifting around kind of makes me nauseous. But seriously, though, why isn't it Strawberry Clock? Isn't he like the main clock guy? Like, it's been a while since I've followed the Newgrounds clock thing. And by a while, I mean, like, literally, like, five years or something. But, pretty sure Strawberry Clock was the main man there, not... I don't even know who an orange clock is. Though I don't remember any of the clocks, aside from the fact that there were lots of clocks. No, I was so close. If you don't know what Newgrounds is... It's the video, it's the, the site I'm playing this on, and it's mostly video games, cartoons, and clocks. Clocks of every flavor and color, and mostly fruits for some reason. I, I don't know. Also, alien hominid. There's probably an alien clockinid or two. There's also some lag. Maybe there's a lag clock. Maybe that's what the clocks do, they make you lag. Dun dun dun. I guess this music's alright. I don't mean to disparage it too much. It does seem like a pretty short loop, though. Oh, I meant to mention, on one of the earlier tracks, it's got a reasonably long loop, but 
when the loop ends, it fades out. And you don't make loops fade out like that in video games, because it makes it really apparent when your music is looping. You know, you don't want to draw attention to that fact, like ever. Because it makes it so much more noticeable, and really, no matter how good the background music is in a, in a game is, it's still background music, and you shouldn't draw attention to it like that. The only attention that should be drawn to it is by it being awesome. And slow fade-outs really aren't awesome. I'm sorry, they're just not. Let's see what our new enemies for this level are. They're... oh, it's the little mecha dudes from uh, Epic Battle Fantasy. I forget... I think you fight these in like the volcano area of Epic Battle Fantasy 3. Oh my god, it's Wheatley! You are so dead, Wheatley. I'm gonna kill every one of you that shows up. I doubt I can hold myself to that. I still want to. Frickin' Wheatley. No! You're dead. That's right. That's cool, though. He's... You know, he's using the portals, which, you know... Any portal reference, they're always gonna use the portals, but it's using it well. It, you know, it makes him a new enemy type instead of just, you know... The enemy that flies around. The enemy that flies around and shoots down. Or, ultimately, the enemy that floats around and shoots up. The more exciting type there. Yeah, he's legitimately a fairly unique enemy type in this game, which is nice. But, I guess that's all I have to say about that. Also, I'm dying. No. Wheatley! Die! No, I have to kill every Wheatley. I did it. I killed every Wheatley. That's what you deserve for being- No! Crap. I shouldn't have... See, when I try to kill mushrooms in this game, I die. I also get lagged for some reason. I thought I had fixed that. Oh well. I need to get, better, get a better computer now that I have a job and all that kind of crap. Wait, I die! Suffer for your insolence! Freaking Wheatley. If you don't know why I'm yelling at Wheatley, just go by Portal 2 and beat it. It's glorious. It's one of the few games I was extremely happy to pay full price for. Before the day of release, actually. And technically 95% or what is it, 90% of full price, actually, because of Steam's pre-order discount thingy that they usually do. I think it was 10%, maybe it was 5%, I don't know. It didn't matter, that's not why I bought it. I pre-ordered it. I pre-ordered it because it was Portal 2. Anyway, I obviously have absolutely nothing to say about this video game anymore, unfortunately. I'm just waiting for the boss and to check out the final set of archives. Or, you know, the bestiary for the remaining set of enemies. I'm not looking forward to the last bit of lag, but... There's also an arcade mode, apparently. I assume it's just keep going on and getting points until you die. Which, that's always exciting. It's... what the hell are you? What the hell are you? I don't know what the hell that is. But it's looping. So, that's kind of cool. Oops. I got scissors lodged in my ass. That's kind of cool. Hey, that hurts. Stupid heart things that suck and I hate. Yeah, told your ass. I seriously have no idea what that is. Well, I mean, I know it's like a heart gem thing. Beyond that, I have no idea what's going on. I haven't had any idea of what's going on this entire game at all. So, I guess it's not really new. 
And also the looping back and forth isn't very new either. The first boss in the game did that, so... It's not very exciting at all. In fact, the little hovering shield protecty things isn't new either. I think another boss did that as well. I better be careful and not die. So I can kill this stupid thing and not have to replay this level. Boom! You want splat, whatever the heck you are. Wait, Larry! You're gonna die. No! Yes! Heck yeah. We got the ending! Yeah! Creepy guy's like, yeah, I'm a creepy guy. I eat mushrooms. I'm disturbingly happy. Hey, it's Curly Brace? No, you're not Curly Brace. You're a weird, creepy lady person. Mushrooms? I love mushrooms. Yay! And she died. Because I killed her. So I'm a freaking psycho. Error one, yay! Okay. Let's take a last peek at the archive here. Angel. Okay, those weren't references. None of those were references then. Huh. Main hominid. Error! Yeah, I have no idea what that reference is. World of Goo. Oh, I know. Yeah, you know, I never played World of Goo. So I guess I got almost all of the. P bot sounds familiar, A bot does not. Castle Crashers, that's what the guy's from. Pizza Cats? I watched that show as a kid, but I'll be damned if I recognize that character. Anyway, let's take a quick peek at this arcade mode. On second thought, it's probably just... There aren't any time limits in arcade... I did not have enough time to read that, buddy. Okay. It said there aren't any time limits in arcade mode, but there's a time limit in the bottom left. I'm just gonna let you pause on that menu and see what it said, and um... This has been Mushroom Combat. We are a creepy, creepy, psycho, mushroom-eating person. Please stay away from us.